did everything. All right, guys, we are back in uh, Solo Learn doing the jQuery section. Let me open it up here. Uh, I forgot what, it's been about four days since I've touched this, but let's see uh, what section I was on. Manipulate the DOM, something you're doing all the time in jQuery. It's basically all you do. Uh, so if it wants to load into the DOM itself here, Oh, I meant manipulating CSS. My mistake. <laughs> so we're going to be adding and removing classes with jQuery, something that you do quite frequently. Um, you'll see right here, perhaps we want to add a class header. So we're taking the div. We're targeting all divs using our, our jQuery selector, and then we're adding the class header. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. I think, I think it'll be easier to see. So let's look at our CSS. So our header here is, uh, header class is the color blue and then the font size of extra large. So when we run this, you'll see that our font size is extra large and the color is blue. So we're applying our JavaScript uh, jQuery here on divs, adding that class to it. That's why that, that works. We're adding a styling class to it. So again, in jQuery, we use our selector, and then we fill in the blanks. Uh, we add, we it's, you target the paragraph in this instance, then we add the class, and add the class name's text and menu to the P element. So we want to add the class name. Uh, so we have a dot text, dot menu, how do we add multiples? Text, and text. There we go. Like so. Did it want text and menu? There we go. So uh, because it's add class, we don't need to put the dot like I was doing earlier. My mistake on that. Um, sorry about that, guys. We also remove a class exactly how we would add a class. You can add a class C, and then you can remove the class A and C. So we have a paragraph of class A, B. So we add class C, we remove C. So we'll be left with B, right? So we have A, B, and C, but we remove class A and C. Pre pretty straightforward. That's really one of the benefits of jQuery. Um, although it's not a s language that's gonna, or a library that's gonna be super, super uh, helpful for you getting a job, it is something people kind of expect you to be comfortable with. Now toggle class, is say you want to set something on click to toggle a class so you click a paragraph it toggles the class on or adds a class you uh, click it again it toggles the class off so will the paragraph have a border after this class so it checks is this on yeah it is uh, so it, it has a class test and we toggle it and then it turns it off CSS properties. You can also apply just CSS. Instead of having a class, perhaps you just want to apply on the paragraph, in this example, background color blue. You can do that as well. You do uh, you s use your selector. In this instance, we're selecting a paragraph. Then we're using dot CSS, followed by the property, followed by the value, and it's all in quotes as well. So in this case, we want to set the color of the paragraph. Uh, the color to blue and the font size to 16. Excuse me. Now, as we continue on, you can kind of notice that these are passed in uh, using a JSON syntax. If you're not familiar with that, what that is, it's a JavaScript object notation, is what JSON stands for. And it, you notice, let's kind of break it down. It goes a little like this in key value pairs. So you have your object that we're passing in. And you have background color and then the value. This is the key and this is the value and then this is key and this is the value. It's uh, You're just passing in an object of CSS values in JSON format and that will work for you as well. So in our example here, we, you're still targeting CSS but this time we're passing in an object separated by commas and then this width property here as well. dimensions so you also pass in width and height or set width and height uh, we set it like CSS but you can do it directly as well so you see this div we're setting a width of 100 and a height of 100 
So let's target our demo because we're using the selector. It's going to be hashtag demo. That's the ID. And then we want to set uh, the height to 68 pixels. It assumes, by the way, that it's going to be in pixels right there. So you don't need to actually put PX. So there's inner width and inner height. So you have width, inner width is your padding, outer width is your border, outer height, same, same, same thing. I always get this stuff all confused between inner width and outer height and stuff like that. So you can see there's a lot going on in here if we wanted to assign it piece by piece. Let's go ahead and jump right in though. So what is the output of this code? So here we're going to alert the divs inner width. So the inner width is the padding. So it's going to be 5px. That's what's going on there. No. Div style. Let's get a hint. Let's see. Is it 200? Uh, it's 205. Because it's adding the width plus this padding. I guess it's just 200. So inner width, let's go back, is the element plus the padding or just the padding? Huh. Inner width and inner height also includes padding. So that should have been right, 205. Why didn't it go? Should be 205. We're add the padding of 5. Two hundred and oh, sh silly me. So you add padding on both sides, so it's two hundred and ten. So you start with two hundred, but it's also the padding. You add five pixels uniformly around it, so it's two five here, five here, two ten. Whoops, that makes sense. All right, let's take this little quiz here. Fill in the blanks to set the color of the padding. So again, we're going to use the CSS property. We're using the JSON object to store all the CSS values. And here we are going to set the color to blue, and then we are going to set the padding to five pixels around it. What is the value of the outer height for the paragraph after the following code? So we have 84, then we have a margin of eight, so that's 16, so that's 100 plus four, it should be 104. Wait, the value of the outer height. So is that margin, the outer height? God. I have to go back and look at this. It doesn't look like it's going to be a outer height. No, outer width was the padding. Okay, so this should be 88. There we go. And specify with multiple class names for the add class method we need to separate using them. So if you want to add multiple class names, you just put spaces. You don't need to put commas or anything. So fill in the blanks to create a new paragraph element. Set its height to 50 pixels. Add the, the before element before the ID test. So we have a var e here, and we're gonna say, we're gonna create a new text element right here. And then we're gonna add some text and then set its height. So we're gonna say, look, e dot height. And you see how we can chain these in variables now to you know save us some time. So e dot height and add it to before the element uh, e dot, or er, For, so this is before E. God, I forgot how to add this beforehand. So I would have used uh, prepend. Oh, I guess we can just target the, we can use the tags, right? Hmm. Let's get a hint. Let's see. Oh, with ID test. I didn't see that. Whoops. There we go. And we just target the ID halfway through. So this next one that I've tried clicking on, we'll be doing that in the next video, manipulating DOM, which is basically, uh, we've been, we've been manipulating CSS in this last one, the DOM, we're going to be starting to create and dynamically interact with the objects in the document object model, which is something important to get comfortable with in jQuery because you do that non-stop in React and Angular. So if you're just getting started, get kind of comfortable with the idea in jQuery so that when you move on to 
more popular and advanced uh, libraries and frameworks, it's not a foreign concept to you. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And support me on Patreon.com slash CodingTutorials 360. And if you want to join the Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine, it's a great, great resource. It's in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.